Veamos cómo el agua estructurada afecta a la sangre humana. La doctora saca una muestra de sangre del dedo del paciente. Usando un microscopio especial, puede ver en qué condiciones está su cuerpo con solo analizar una gota de sangre. These are red blood cells and they've lost their electrical charge, so they're all stuck together in a formation called a rouleau. Here's a huge symplast. Symplasts are associated with heart disease and uh, arthritis and lung disease and many other conditions that could be coming in the future. La doctora le da al paciente un vaso de agua estructurada. Después de 12 minutos, la doctora nuevamente le saca sangre al paciente para volver a analizarla. So you can see that the cells then become buoyant, they become slippery and they have their electrical charge so they repel each other. That allows them to carry oxygen and it means that we're changing the pH of the blood back to an aerobic environment rather than an anaerobic environment. I think that's utterly amazing that that a water could, that just drinking water could do that.